First, let's start by creating a 3D object, sphere. This will be my player. Then position the player at negative three in the Y axis. Add a new component, bolt float machine. I'll use an embedded source, click added graph. Now here I want to move my player by using a button on my keyboard. So let's add a transform translate unit. I'll be moving the player in the X axis. So for X, I'll connect it to a multiply node so that I can multiply my input with the movement speed. Connect A to input get axis. And the axis name I'll use is horizontal. For B, I'll use a per second unit, which lets me set the value frame rate independent. Set it to 10. Now I want to add an on collision inter event so that when the player collides with the enemy, the player loses. Connect it to game object destroy. And then pass in self for the object input. Now we're all done with player. Time for the enemy. Create a new cube object. Rename to enemy. And for enemy, we need a rigid body so that gravity can affect it. Add a bolt flow machine, set it to embedded, and let's create a graph. On start, I want the object to be destroyed in five seconds. And there is an option for game object destroy that can help us with that. For T, I'll put five seconds and for object, connect self. Now on update, let's get our player to rotate at transform rotate. And connect it to per second vector three. Set 300 for all axis. And we're done with the enemy. Drag the enemy to the asset folder to create a prefab and remove the enemy from our scene. Now create an empty object for a spawner. And add a flow machine. In here, I'll use a timer unit to get the spawner creating an enemy every tenth of a second. Set duration to 0.1. And on complete, I'll connect it to game object instantiate. From instantiate, let's connect back to start of the timer. So the timer would restart. For original, select enemy. And for position, create a new vector 3. Pass in random range flow for X and set minimum to negative nine and maximum to nine. We'll set nine for Y. And the last thing is connect the rotation to quaternion literal. And we are all done. Let's test it out. And there we go, we made it in 200 seconds. If you want to see what else I'll be making, subscribe to my channel. Or if you want to make your own games with Bolt, I have lots of tutorials on my channel. Enjoy and have fun.